So for people with extreme cold sensitivity and, and receding gums, you have a new technique you're doing that's, yeah. that, that's not like traditional, traditional surgery. That's correct, yes. So, you know, long in the tooth is something that Shakespeare talked about old age. Well, we have 30s and 40 and 50 year olds who are not old, but because they've scrubbed their gums away with a toothbrush, their teeth are very sensitive. So we laser treat them to desensitize them. And then traditionally what's happened is that the gums are flayed open, peeled back, reattached up. We're not doing that. We can gently separate the gum tissue from around the neck of the tooth. We can bring it back up into its place. And you know, while we're there, why don't we take some of that bone stem cell stimulating platelet and lift it underneath. And you know what? And maybe we can grow some new, new gum tissue again. Okay. Well, let me ask you this. Okay. So traditional, done some research on this, traditional gum surgery, like if you have a receding gum. Yeah. Here in the U.S., they might take a graft from the yes. roof of your mouth and they put it there. Yes. What you're saying, if it's on the upper, in a way you're kind of pulling the gums back down. That's right. Now, I know exactly. And this is a new technique. Yeah, this, is a, this is a relatively new technique. And so I've had exactly what you're talking about, I've had done twice, okay? So I've had a piece of gum tissue the size of a quarter taken from the roof of the mouth. Did I say that it's not fun? So because I can use the bone stem cell platelets, I don't have to take a graft anymore. And this pinhole technique the that pinhole you call. Pinhole technique, yes. I said, so I'm not taking grafts from the roof of the mouth. Hardly ever, ever. So as far as downtime surgery versus this? No, it's, it's, it's you're back to work the next day. It's really fabulous. So no okay. more receding gums. No more receding gums. No more dentures. All right, good, good. <laughs>